I'm Derek B, editor of the Peru Tribune. Back with you for another edition of Tomorrow's News, our daily video series where we tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today is Tuesday, December 17th, and I'm telling you a little bit about what you can see in Wednesday's Print Peru Tribune or online Tuesday night at perutribune.com. Um, in our lead story, Chad Abshire tells you a little bit about a uh, development potentially coming to Grissom Air Reserve Base. Uh, Miami County Executive Development uh, Authority I'm sorry, Economic Development Authority, Executive Director Jim Tidd, uh, told him yesterday about um, a uh, potential $10 billion investment by Boeing that could be coming to Grissom. said it's a very, very um, competitive bidding process, so they're not uh, at all sure they're going to get it. They think it's a long shot for even the state of Indiana to get it because they're competing with so many states. Uh, but it's really an exciting uh, prospect and uh, could have a lot of uh, economic benefits for the community, so we hope you'll... Uh, Read about that in tomorrow's edition, and uh, the Boeing will ultimately decide Miami County is where they want to be. Um, in our display story, uh, Chad tells you about a uh, fundraiser actually for the Grissom Air Museum Tuesday, uh, Monday night. Uh, four local officials served as waiters at Pizza Hut to raise money. Uh, they were able to put some money together for the museum. And you can find out who those officials were and how much they raised uh, online tonight or in tomorrow's Tribune. Um, in our Your Neighbor story for Wednesday, uh, Eric talked to North Miami science teacher Carrie Scott. Uh, she recently got a couple of grants and is expanding uh, the science activities that she does at her school. Uh, she said that a teacher is really never done learning, and she hopes that uh, if she ever feels like she's done, that uh, she'll realize that's time to get out of the profession. So it's really great to see somebody in our community that dedicated to their craft. Uh, Chad Abshire will be going in a little bit to uh, the county council meeting. Uh, not sure yet what they're going to be discussing, but that'll be in uh, Wednesday's edition and more in detail on Thursday's edition. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I had a follow-up in today's paper from Monday's Peru School Board meeting. I had a brief in uh, today's paper and online last night about uh, Superintendent Chuck Brimberry's raise and his uh, uh, Superintendent of the Year runner-up. Um, we talked uh, a little bit more in today's paper about a high school graduation requirements, a partnership they have coming up with Chrysler, and a slew of other things. It's a really detailed story that I hope you'll get a chance to look at. Uh, finally, on the sports page, uh, Nick went last night uh, to see the North Miami boys team play Pioneer. Um, I won't tell you what happened in that game, but I can tell you Coach Clay Bolser was very brief with Nick after the game, said he wanted the team's play against Pioneer to speak for itself. Um, you can find all of those stories in Wednesday's Print Peru Tribune. You can find them online tonight, Tuesday night, at perutribune.com. You can also find them shared to our Facebook and our Twitter, and you can follow me and all of our reporters on Twitter. Until tomorrow, that's tomorrow's news. I'm Derek B. Have a great Wednesday.